Fuel Fitness, Stability Ball Basics. Jake is helping us out today. Thanks, Jake. Yep. And we're going to be warming up with this stability ball. And the first warm up is squat to overhead press. It's our first exercise. So here we go, Jake. We're going to nice, do a nice deep squat to his chest, overhead to the chest. And that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That simple, folks, looks good. Good squat patterns, squat to overhead press. Atlas circles, great way to stretch the lateral lines of the body. Jake's gonna start with the ball right overhead. And he's gonna have the ball go to his right. And there's a little squat at the bottom. He turns those hands 180. He does this real nice and slow as he gets a stretch. That hand turns 180 and he's stretching these ribs on each side of his body. That ball turns 180 at the bottom again. We're gonna do four, Jake. And this is our fourth one. I think we're gonna stop at the top. And we're gonna go the other way. And now he turns 180 with that hand the other direction. So now that left hand is turning 180. And we get those lateral line stretches around the ribs and it should feel really good, folks. A nice, easy, nice way to warm up. And about four rotations is all we need for each direction. And we think we've got it, Jake. Good. Trunk rotations. Now it's simply, Jake is going to just rotate in the transverse plane. He's just gonna swing the ball with the ball out in front of him. He's gonna pivot on that back foot, and that's two, three, and he's gonna watch the ball as he goes, and that helps facilitate the body and the pivot, and he's counting his eight, because sometimes I'll lose count, as you all know. And that's about eight or so, Jake. Good, okay. Now I'm gonna have him keep his feet stable so he's not gonna pivot. And you're gonna see his range of motion decrease a little bit, but he might get a little more of a twist now from his uh, hip thigh area into his knee as we kind of twist that superficial fascia a little differently now with not having the foot twist. But again, he's keeping the ball out in front of him and he's looking at the ball and it's staying right in front of his sternum and that looks really good. And again, we're just doing eight rotations, folks, but you can do as many as you want. Oblique foot to hayloft. Here we go. Jake's gonna put that ball on the outside of his left foot and he puts it to his chest and he puts it high and away in oblique pattern. And that's two. And three, always bringing it to and from the chest. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Other side now, he's gonna put on the outside of his uh, right foot, in front, outside of his right foot to his chest, and high, yeah, we really put it high out there, Jake. Really a, yeah, a good 45 degree angle up. And that's three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And again, feel free to double that number, do 16, do 32 if you want some more cardio, folks. Now we're doing seated knee lifts and then we're gonna put the leg out straight, but first we're gonna just raise that knee. So Jake's gonna sit up nice and tall on the ball and his hands are going to be just by his side, just having a good, uh, good posture, good core here. And then we're going to just raise that right leg just about an inch above the floor or so. And he's just going to try to stabilize and see how much shaking we have. And we're going to try to hold that for maybe another four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. About, hold about eight seconds each side. And then we're going to do the uh, left leg now. He's going to pick that knee up and going to try to stabilize. And maybe a little more shaky on this side, huh? So we're gonna see if one side versus the other and just try to keep the body very quiet and very tall and maybe just hold it for another, maybe like three seconds, two seconds and one second, good. Now, Jake's gonna put his right leg straight out. 
and he's really going to pull his toe towards his nose there, and he's going to charge up that thigh. And again, we're just going to activate those quads a little bit and work out a big, little longer lever arm here as he's trying to hold and stabilize that body. And that's about eight seconds. Good. And then other side, folks. Here we go. Lock out that knee. Charge up those quad muscles. Pull that toe in towards the face. And we're going to try to hold that. And we can see a little bit of shaking going on. There's a lot of good muscle contraction activation going on there. And we're going to hold that for about a good eight seconds or so. And we've got it. And that's it, folks. Anterior, posterior pelvic tilts, and then roll out to a bench. So Jake's going to sit up nice and tall on the ball. He's going to put his hands on his hips. And he's going to feel like he's pouring a bucket of water out of the front of his hips. And then pour out the back of the hips and then go to the front of the hips and pour water out the back of the hips as we try to move that pelvis in an anterior tilt and then in a posterior tilt. A couple more times, anterior tilt and a posterior tilt, pour the water out the back, an anterior tilt and a posterior tilt. Real subtle folks, we're kind of activating deep, deep in that core. And here we go. Jake's going to walk on out. He's going to roll out to a bench, learn how to do that, get comfortable with it. And then he's going to then raise his hips into a nice plank with his feet on the ground. His head is on the ball. His uh, shoulders are on the ball. And Jake, pretend like you're uh, going to press some dumbbells here in a bench press. So we can do a lot of stuff with this ball, folks. Um, and that's the idea. Now he's going to walk on back. And just getting used to using this ball. And let's do it again, Jake, for a second time. In fact, we'll do it four times, folks. And then he raises those hips up, activates the glutes and the hams, and then he's going to go ahead. And that's all right. We don't have to pretend we're doing any more dumbbells now, but just go ahead and sit up nice and tall on the ball. Real nice and tall. And then a third time, we're going to roll on out. Just getting really used to this, folks. Getting really good at it. Raise those hips. Activate the back of the glutes and the hamstrings. Head and shoulders on the ball. Then he's going to see his body out and walk back. And he doesn't have to use his arms at all, does he, really? And then fourth time. Here we go. One last time. He's going to roll on out. Good. Raise the hips. Boom. Make your own bench, folks. And then he's going to roll on back. And we kind of activate those glutes a little bit and that core, and get our little coordination going. Bouncing Bronco hovers. Jake is going to bounce for a count of eight, a count of four, a count of two, and a count of one on my cues. And he's going to be holding the ball with alternating hands, making sure it's there so he doesn't sit down on air and <laughs> fall, fall on the ground. So here we are, Jake. Let's go ahead. Uh, and you're going to hover one inch above that ball. Here we go. We're going to bounce. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hover. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hover. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hover. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hover. Break it down to fours. And eight, seven, six, Four, up, screw the count up, and four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one. How about four more, folks? Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Break it into twos. One, hover. One hover, 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 and one hover. Break down to ones. Hover, hover, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, walk it out. They're burning, folks. They're burning. Forearm rollouts. Jake is going to put his wrist with his kind of thumbs up, and he's going to roll out along that bony edge of that, those forearms. And when he gets out there on his elbows, he's going to put his hands up. So he has to kind of balance on those two bony points of the elbow. We'll do eight of these folks. That's our number. He's going to go out for two. He's going to kind of tuck his tailbone under and make sure he's got a really good engaged lower back lumbar, protected lumbar, tucking that tailbone under and that posterior pelvic tilt that we practiced earlier. And what this is for coming out, Jake, is that right? And just get everything activated. And this is what, fifth one. Six, and those fingers kind of point to the ceiling out there. Seven. And last one for eight, forearm rollouts, folks. Very nice. Roll out to plank, knees in. So Jake is gonna roll on out to his knees. He's using grips, so it's a little bit kinder to his wrist than being in the push-up position all the time. So he's got the knees right on top of the ball. He's going to flex his feet towards his nose there. There you go. And he's going to roll those knees in very slowly. Break the knees, Jake. Roll the knees in. Just that high position there. 90-degree angle. There we go. And he's going to roll back out. And he's going to, again, roll those knees in. And that high position where he has a 90 degree between his thigh and his torso, it looked really good, really high up there. And if you, those knees go in further, you're gonna be squatting down again. And we're not activating the core as well. But those look really good, Jake, is that four? Yep, and here's five. And just hold it there for a little second at the top. Six. Seven. And one more for eight as he holds it there for about one second at the top. Got it. And roll on back. And roll on back, Jake. Very nice. Pikes. Much harder than the last exercise, folks. So Jake is going to roll it out again to the, his knees. So his knees are right on top of the ball. And again, he's using grips so he can help his wrist out. And is, so there we have it, knees on top of the ball. He's going to point his toes, point his toes really hard. He's going to lock his legs out, and those pointed toes help him lock his legs out. And he goes into an inverted V, and he comes out of it. Good. Now we're going to see if we can hold that for four seconds, Jake. Come on up to an inverted V for four, three, two, one, and release out of that. Number three, inverted V, four, three, two, one and come out of that. These are really hard. He's trying to get as high as he can. And this is the fourth one, right? Four, three, two, one, release and walk on back. Those are hard folks. You're going to do two sets of four of those with four seconds at the top. That's quite a ab workout. Push-ups. So we're going to do a regressed version first. Jake's going to roll on out. So his thighs are on top of the ball. That's it, just the thighs. And it's going to be much easier this way. And he's going to try to tuck in that lower back, that lumbar region. And he's going to do give us just four push-ups. So this is a regress version, folks, where the ball is right under your hips or under your thighs. And now Jake is going to go to his knees now. And this is where we actually want. We want to try to get our, develop our push-up strength. From this knee area, he's going to tuck in that lower back, posterior pelvic tuck, lock in that lumbar. We just saw him do it. Beautiful. And he's going to do four now. And if he can, he's going to walk out just a little bit farther to his shins. And it's a little less stable, as we can see. It's harder to control it now. He's going to tuck in that lower back, control that, lock in that lower lumbar best he can. And we can see the strength now. It takes a little more strength, a little more stability. It's harder. And roll on back or walk, fall off it. Who cares? We got it. Russian twist. So Jake is sitting on the ball, and he's going to walk on out to that bench, roll on out to that bench that we learned earlier. 
And that's why we practiced it. So his shoulders are on the ball, his head's on the ball. He kind of raises those hips and makes his own bench. He's gonna put his both arms together like a big wind vane at the top. And he's going to then just slowly kind of roll to each side alternating. That ball is rolling under him, his back, rolling under his shoulder. Notice on the side as he now rolls towards us, that left hip drops and he activates that right hip. And now his right hip drops and he activates that left hip. And that's it folks, you just go back and forth for eight of these things. And it's a nice kind of control and little hip work and core work and we got torsion going on. It's pretty nice. Nice little exercise here. And we got it, Jake. Is that all right? Okay. And then he's going to finish out. He's going to walk on back, roll on up. And there we have it. Reverse plank to glute bridge. So Jake is starting out with his heels right on top of the ball, the very top of the ball. His hands are by his side. He's going to come into a reverse plank and then draw the heels in towards the buttocks like he's standing on the ball. He's going to drive those hips towards the ceiling into the beautiful glute bridge. It's going to be a little unstable. He's going to roll on out to that reverse plank again and release everything, folks. Release it. Number two, come on up. Reverse plank. Draw the heels in. Drive those hips to the ceiling. Roll back out to a reverse plank and release. Number three, folks, get ready. Reverse plank, roll the heels in. Feel like you're standing on the ball. Drive those hips up to the ceiling. Roll on out to reverse plank and release. Last one, folks, number four, reverse plank. Roll the heels in like you're standing on the ball. Drive the hips up. Roll on out to reverse plank again and release. And you've done it, folks. High latitude touches. So Jake is going to hold the ball as best he can straight up overhead between his feet. And he's going to alternate trying to touch as high as he can on the globe. That's two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, and last eight. That's it. We got it, folks. High latitude touches. Jets. So Jake is just draped uh, his chest, shoulders, his chin is on the ball. Everything's kind of draped over the ball there. And his thumbs are kind of pointing in, as we see, in these little jet airplane wings. And he's going to roll his thumbs outboard. So they roll around and then point to the ceiling as he contracts to his lower back. And then he rolls the thumbs inboard again. And then he rolls the thumb outboard towards camera here. Try to point him towards the ceiling as he just then rolls back down. And that's two. We're going to do eight of these. So roll the thumbs out. Really contract those shoulder blades together. That lower back is getting hyperextended and contracted. The erector spinae back there the, between the shoulder blades. A lot of good stuff going on here, folks. Getting that posterior chain. That's four, right, Jake? This is five. And he just releases. It's nice to release after each one. It really is. And here we are for six. And just roll back in. And here we come up for seven. And last one for eight. There you have it, folks. Jets. Superman's folks, it's going to work that upper back now. And so Jake is going to put his hands in a wide position with his thumbs up and he's gonna fly like Superman. Let's watch him as he contracts that lower back and then he releases down and let it relax. So number two out of eight, here we go. And he's really gonna to try to contract through that lower back and get high off that ball if he can. Really fly three And here's four coming up And this will fatigue out pretty quickly and here's five So keep those arms more in a Y Jake not a T There he goes. That's at about six. 
Right, last two. Really contracting through the back, contracting through those shoulder blades and down. Last one, trying to get as high as he can off the ball. High as he can off the ball. And release, Superman's.